Welcome back to another how-to tutorial brought to you by Team Terramind. In today's video, we will walk you through deploying Terramind on VMware ESXi 6.7. Terramind simplifies the installation by providing an all-inclusive virtual machine in the form of an OVA file. A single server can handle at least a thousand concurrent endpoints and the server can be easily scaled horizontally. To run Terramind on VMware, you will need three things from us. The Terramind server in the form of an OVA file, the Terramind agent installer, and a license key. You can download the OVA and agent installer from Terramind self-hosted portal at www.terramind.co forward slash portal. You will find the relevant files under the download tab. Your license key can also be obtained from the self-hosted portal under the licenses tab. In addition to the three items mentioned, you will also need an available IP address to assign to the server and of course the VMware ESXi 6.7 environment to host a Terramind virtual server. Let's get started. First thing you'll need to do is log into your VMware ESXi server. From the navigation tab on the left, select Virtual Machines. On the right hand side of the screen, click Create Register VM. Once done, a window will pop up where you can specify settings for the new virtual machine you're about to create. For the first step, Creation Type, select Deploy a Virtual Machine from an OVF or OVA file. Click Next to go to Step 2. Here you will need to create a name for the virtual machine, for example, Terramind. Then click the area that says click to select files or drag drop to upload the Terramind server OVA file. Click next to go to step 3, storage. We will leave the default settings for the data storage on this step. Click next to go to deployment options. We will keep the default settings for this step as well. Click next to go to the final step. Here you can see a summary of your VM settings. Click finish to start the deployment process. Do not refresh your browser during the VM deployment process. Once the deployment is finished, you can see the newly created VM on the main ESXi interface under the Virtual Machines tab. Now we will add a second virtual hard disk to the server to hold the screen recordings. Select the VM by clicking its name to open its settings window. If the VM is running, shut it down by clicking the shutdown button located on top of the page. Wait till the VM is shut down, then click the power off button. You might see a warning message saying powering off may cause data loss. Since our VM is brand new, this is of no concern to us. Click yes to continue. Wait until the system is fully powered off and then click the actions button from the top right hand corner. From the pop-up menu, select edit settings. On the edit settings window, make sure the virtual hardware tab is selected. Select add hard disk and then select new standard hard disk. You will now see a new hard disk is added to the list of hardware. Select a new disk. On the right hand side you can specify the disk size. You can start with something small, say 16GB and expand later as needed. Click save to attach the disk to your VM and go back to the VM settings window. Note that Terramind will automatically use this disk for screen recordings and you won't have to take any additional steps to make this happen. Turn the VM back on by clicking the power on button. We will now launch a console window for the initial step which is assigning the IP address for the server. From the top, click the console button and then select Open Browser Console. You can log in using the word Setup as both the username and password. When prompted, hit Enter. Terramind will then ask you a few questions step by step to help set up the server. At the first prompt for IP setup, enter an available IP address, NetMask and Gateway, and the DNS you want to use for the host. At the second prompt, you will be asked to enter a role for the server. Since this is a single server deployment, we will keep the default master role setting. Just hit enter for this prompt. At this point, we are done with the VMware setup. We will finish the rest of the setup from the browser window. Let's open a new tab in your browser. In the URL field, punch in the IP address you use for the Terramind server. At this point, you may see a warning message on your browser saying that the connection is not private or secure. This is normal. The warning is shown because you haven't assigned an SSL certificate to the server just yet. You can upload your own certificate later from the Terramind dashboard. For the time being, we can proceed to the site despite the warning. If you are using Google Chrome, you can click the advanced button on the warning page and then click proceed to link to continue. Other browsers have similar options to bypass the warning. Once in the Terramind dashboard page, you'll be greeted with a welcome screen. You can select your default language and time zone from this screen. Click continue to go to the next screen. Here you can set up an admin account and assign a password. Click continue to go to the next screen. At this stage, you'll be asked to provide your Terramind license key. Remember, you can get your license key from the Terramind self-hosted portal under the licenses tab. Enter the license key and then click continue to go to the next screen. 
At this point, Terramind will give you the option to install the Terramind agent. For now, let's skip this step. Click Continue to finish setting up Terramind. Once complete, you'll be redirected to the central monitoring dashboard where you can review the deployment and make sure everything is functioning as needed. At this point, you can go back and install the Terramind agent to any endpoints you want to monitor. If you need help installing the agent, check out our downloading and installing the Terramind agent tutorial from our YouTube channel. You can also download a PDF version of the Terramind on-premise deployment guide from www.terramind.co forward slash resources. If you encounter any issues during the deployment process, open a support ticket from your dashboard or send us an email to support at terramind.co. If you're new to Terramind's how-to series, click the button below to subscribe and check out our other tutorials on the Terramind YouTube channel.